I've built a few Gauge 1 live steam locomotives so far. This is the next one I'm going to build and it's going to be scratch built and it's going to be live steam and I hope you find the series of following videos interesting to watch. Hello and welcome to part 34 of the GWR Prairie Tank Scratch Build. Um, as you can see I've started the painting, that's begun, um, but just before we do that uh, if you hit the like and subscribe button um, much appreciated and that will help things as we go along. Okay we started the painting, uh, I've been concentrating on just the the chassis elements at the moment. So for example there's the the running boards all done and pretty obvious there's going to be buffer beams and the buffers and just been doing the the cylinder covers as well, the front cylinder covers uh, part of the front bogey that's all done and the wheels are painted as well. I've painted the main wheels as well but the, the plan at the moment is to put the, the chassis back together like so, reassemble all the chassis and to have a running chassis and that's the, the plan that we're going to do so far. So what we will do now is we'll get on and start to assemble these parts. Okay, here's our painted parts that we've done so far now, all reassembled and back onto the back onto the chassis. All the steam pipes in and the exhaust pipe in, and I've also put the the blast pipe in as well because uh, I can just test the, approximately the blast pipes the right size, working from experience from uh, the other models. Uh, just want to check the, the blast pipe. You've got to have a balance between the blast pipe, not too big, not too small. If it's too small, it'll tend to choke the engine. But um, we're all back together again. And so we'll give this a little run so you can see what we've got. Squeeze that on there, should do for now. Okay, just upend it. And we put some compressed air on. And that's a real great sign that it's actually started just by turning the compressed air on. And that's running on about 5 psi. So that's really good. And we're back to where we were a year or so ago when I had some video footage of it. The bare chassis running on compressed air. So this time it's all assembled. All the bolts are the right length. They're all screwed in and they've all got Loctite on where needed because I'm not intending to take this apart now. Hopefully we're going to build on top of this. But before we do that, let me just stop this. Okay, so that seems to be running okay on compressed air and that looks quite promising. Now, the next thing I really want to do, which is going to be the probably the ultimate test before I have to run the thing on the track, is I'm going to connect it up to my boiler and we're actually going to run the chassis on live steam and this will be the if you like the ultimate test before we actually put the boiler on and steam it from the boiler. Um, you do sometimes find that yes sometimes it'll run fine on compressed air and say oh yes everything runs fine on compressed air but you do find on live steam they can sometimes run a little bit differently. So this is really just a final um, confidence check to make sure everything's running okay. I still might have to uh, tweak the timing a little bit. We'll set this up on the test bench and hook it up to our vertical boiler and then test the chassis on steam. Here's the chassis connected up to the steam line and connected up to our vertical boiler. So all it remains to do now is to put some water in 
and put some fuel in for the fire. This is um, a good little boiler this. I built this a good few years ago uh, when I used to build stationary engines. So it's also found a use now for testing the chassis. About, it takes about three quarters of a pint, half a pint of water. And there's a sight gauge on this side I'm just looking at. And slowly start to see the water filling up. So I shall just pump away at this to fill the boiler up. All set up now. So we've got our boiler going through the steam oiler and down into our cylinders here. So we're ready to light up now. And we just burn our, our blower on. These boilers aren't too bad because you can run them without the fan. It just helps a little bit more, creates more of a draft. So we can close our boiler door and let that get up to steam. Put some steam in so we can put it on the blower. You can see that they've got some got some steam coming through. Let the pressure build up a bit more. And so we're just on the um, just on the blower now at the moment. So what I shall do is open the steam gently, and I can see the steam coming out of the. Well, there's certainly water coming out of the um, out of the exhaust. Cylinders are getting warm. It's obviously a lot of condensation. I can see oily water coming out. Now that's looking promising. Just gently, yeah, cylinders are getting hot now. A lot of water, still a lot of water coming out. Obviously on the, the, the proper thing on the boiler, uh, certainly the steam pipe won't, just be, won't be as long, so we're getting a lot of condensation off this uh, steam pipe. Let's see if there's anything running on that. I still think there's a lot of water in the cylinders. There we go. Running on steam. That's a good test. And it also shows me where there's some leaks I need to look at. It certainly looks like there's a leak coming from yeah it's a leak coming from the from the cylinder cover but that's very encouraging now so at least we know it will run on steam I think all I need to investigate is where that yeah that that leak is coming from the uh, from cylinder cover so I need to uh, check the 
check the uh, gasket on that. And that also looks okay for the blast pipe. So we'll just let that run for a few minutes. There you can see the steam coming out the chimney. I've just got the blower on slightly for the boiler. Zoom back in on that for you. That's looking good. Got about, only got about 15 pounds on the oil pressure. Let's just check the reverse. Should be okay. Open up again. Yeah, there she is in reverse. Excellent. So that is good. That looks like when I put the boiler on and we have some steam, there's a very good chance that it should run okay. And all I need to do is check where that leak's coming from from the front cover plate. But all in all, excellent. Let's go around, let's go forward. that is good confirmation that uh, it should run. So we'll power down our burners with the water. And just turn the fuel off on that. That's a lovely tick over. And that's literally only on a couple of pounds per square inch. So that is good. Okay, that's the steam test done. And I hope you'll agree that that looked very encouraging. So there's a very good chance that when I put the boiler on it and we get steam up, it will actually run on the track with no problems. And this is the idea of what I like to do is to run the chassis on steam because at this stage you want to see the problems if there are any problems and we can correct them here. And as we saw earlier on there is a leak coming from that uh, cylinder cover which I'm going to look at see what's causing that. It might just be the screws not tightened up evenly and we'll have a look at that in a minute. But uh, I hope you found that interesting and we will move on to the next phase. So what I'm going to do now is carry on with the painting. So we have our running chassis on steam, which is a big milestone. So I can carry on with the painting of the rest of the, of the locomotive and the assembly. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you like it. If you have, please hit the like button 
and subscribe to my channel and hopefully we'll see you again for the next episode. <laughs>